and with any luck, a cheetah sitting in the full sun on a rock. Yes? No. I'm just going to stop right next to this rock, Fergus, and then we will film the secretary birds. And the elephant. And all of the things. Alright, everybody, hold your breath, because the diesel fume behind us is about to be blown over the top. <gasps> okay, it's gone. Now we can look. Elephants. and secretar birds. Now I must just tell you again that while we look at the elephants that uh, it is incumbent on me to remind you that secretary birds despite what some will tell you are not called such because of the plumes in their heads uh, which apparently were supposed to look like uh, secretaries. Um, I've never seen a secretary that looks like that, uh, but it in fact comes from the Arabic word, words, sequatar, which as far as I remember means warrior. But I'm just going to check that little factoid up for you so that you cannot tell me I've been lying to you. One mustn't lie to the guests, at least the viewers, Fergus. Do you agree? One must not lie in general. Very good point. Alice is nodding vigorously from the back of the car. She agrees that lying is poor. Why can I not find this bird? Find it. Fear not, everybody. I know that many of you are now full of fear. That I won't find it, but I will. I will. No, that's a stalk, Henry. Here it is. Sakretar, an Arabic-based word meaning not warrior, but hunter bird. That is S-A-Q-R dash E-T dash T-A-I-R, an Arabic-based word meaning hunter bird. I'm not sure if that is said with any guttural at all. Sakretar, an Arabic-based word meaning hunter bird. Right, we're on to the elephants now, I see. Thank you, Fergus. And the elephants have just come off the escarpment where often they spend their evenings. Not sure why, exactly. I imagine being an animal of those proportions, it must be quite difficult to stand on a slope for any length of time, but they don't seem to mind at all. That really is a very pretty little scene, isn't it, with the vastness of the Maasai Mara extending off to the south and east. I can also hear a brew brew calling. Bzzz. I didn't realize we got them here. And you can feel the wind. I, I must say, it is amazing to me that the amount of... Um, it's almost coastal wind, it feels like. Every day there's a, there's a wind, and then it dies, and then it comes back, and it's very difficult to explain why it does this, of course. But who can explain the vagaries of the river? At least not the river, the, the weather. Now, they're picking up little Balanites fruits there. I think that's what they're looking for. The one you're looking at isn't... Um, where is it? Yes, it is, sorry. It's just moving towards its friends who are doing the same thing. Picking up Balanites fruits. Much the same as they would at Juma. But these ones are slightly smaller and they don't seem to smell quite as strongly as dried apricots which, uh, in my opinion, is a great mercy. A dried apricot, not something that I find very delicious. Rebecca, are you still with us? I'm just wondering if we've lost comms entirely. Oh, there she is. Fantastic. Sometimes she just disappears, you know, and you think, well, have I said something that's offended her? And is she ever going to talk to me again?
Hello Patricia, you're wondering if the taller larger elephant there is a male. No, I think she's a cow. I think she is the mother of that very little one there. See how she's leaning against the trunk? <laughs> That's quite fun. No, I think she's a cow. Uh, it's very difficult to tell from behind, of course. But she's got a fairly flat back. She's got some little ones with her. And I think if we look between her front legs, yes, definitely. She has got large swollen mammary glands indicating that she is lactating and feeding that little one and therefore must be a cow. The little one's getting quite playful and naughty.